Hello there, my name is Amir Amintabar and I am testing one of the OpenCV libraries today. That library is used to extract the feature points of the scene. So what are the feature points? You know, in 3D computer vision, we are interested in the features of the scene which are stable with respect to the changes in the illumination shadowing and to some extent the noises. Why? Because in 3D computer vision we are trying to establish uh, some sort of correspondences between the left views and the right views. And in order to do that we have to find some features in the left scene, sorry, in the left view of the same scene and then finding same features and the right view of the same scene. So those features have to be stable among those between the, <clears throat> between the two scenes or among multiple scenes. <clears throat> those features, <clears throat> as you see in this scene, are usually corners. Corners and edges. But the corners are easier to extract in terms of CPU time and more stable with respect to the edges. You can simply use Harris Corner Detector. In the library of the OpenCV, uh, which is called Good Features to Track, the Harris Corner Detector and some improved version of that has been implemented. Let me show you again so these are the feature points extracted in green. If I remove them, that's the scene without the feature points. And these are the extracted corners. See, not all of, all of the corners have been extracted, but that's okay. We have enough number of corners to establish the point correspondences between the views. There are many other applications for that purpose as well. So these are a better look at the feature points. One of the applications that you might have guessed by now is the background subtraction. For the background subtraction, you see, all we have to do is to find the feature points or finding the set of the points <clears throat> and then draw a blob or draw a convex hull around that form, around that figure which is moving now, and then call that foreground. Those feature points at the back, which are not moving a lot, look at this. These are almost still feature points. Are the feature points of the background. And it is not always that easy, as you see, due to the noises and the problems with my camera, the way it works to grab the scene, these points are not completely still. They have a little motion of it. <clears throat> so what are the other applications of this uh, library where there are a lot? Nowadays, okay, let me get back to this. All right. Nowadays, the, the new trend is to use them uh, the uh, webcam of your laptop to control the motion of the mouse. You have seen a lot, many um, demonstrations that <clears throat> people are using the webcam and they move their hand in front of the camera this way to move and control the motion of the mouse. This is possible using this algorithm and this library from OpenCV. All you have to do is to implement a simple, simple algorithm to uh, track, uh, to actually track the, um, sorry, sorry, at the same time I'm reading some code here, I'm just uh, making sure that everything works in this video. So we can, we can track the optical flow and determine the, the motion of the mouse with respect to the motion of the hand <clears> or <throat> whatever moves in the scene. Okay. 
Well, that, that is not actually very easy because we have to, uh, some sort, we have to implement the, the clicking as well. So nowadays, many people have been uh, working on, use, uh, have been working on implementation of algorithms to use Kinex, the new input device from Microsoft. We'll have more videos with regards to the uh, use of OpenCV libraries. I hope you enjoy my first video. And um, just if uh, out of if you are curious, in the background we see those balloons. Uh, there was a birthday party in our apartment the other night, so we just kept it like that. And for my friends uh, who are seeing me in my new look, yeah, I found it easier and I found it uh, more eco-friendly. Uh, I'm a friend of uh, environment, so. Uh, you know, I just did this to have a cool breeze on my head. All right, anyways, good luck and uh, see you in next videos.